Orion and the Dark, only on Netflix, February 2nd. What up and welcome to Rama Screen YouTube channel and here's my review of Netflix new animated movie, Orion and the Dark. Let's rock this. Okay, Orion and the Dark is fine. It's just fine. It's a sweet, adorable movie about conquering your fears. It's not gonna win any awards and it's not gonna end up on this year's list of best movies, but it's a well-intentioned, well-meaning film that's designed to help children audiences overcome their fears. Concept-wise, it's too much a lot like Pixar's Inside Out. You know how that one had joy and anger and sadness, etc., etc. Well, this one has its own team of elements working at night. Sleep, dream, what have you. So, while it is an adaptation based on a book, conceptually, Orion in the Dark is about as original as a Toyota Corolla driving on a freeway. Dime in a dozen. I also have a bit of beef with some of its narrative structure, but I'll tell you more, so stick around. Based on Emma Yartlett's book and scripted by Charlie Kaufman and directed by Sean Charmutz and from DreamWorks Animation, in Orion in the Dark, Orion seems a lot like your average elementary school kid, shy, unassuming, harboring a secret crush. But underneath his seemingly normal exterior, Orion is a ball of adolescent anxiety, completely consumed by irrational fears of bees, dogs, the ocean, cell phone waves, murderous gutter clowns even falling off a cliff. But of all his fears, the thing he's most afraid of is what he confronts on a nightly basis, the dark. So when the literal embodiment of his worst fear pays a visit, Dark whisks Orion away on a roller coaster ride around the world to prove there is nothing to be afraid of in the night. As the unlikely pair grow closer, Orion must decide if he can learn to accept the unknown, to stop letting fear control his life, and finally embrace the joy of living. Voice starring Jacob Tremblay as Orion, Paul Walter Hauser as, as Dark, Angela Bassett as Dreams, Colin Hanks as Adult Orion, Ike Barron holds as Light, Carla Gugino as Orion's mom, and Werner Herzog as the narrator. Yes, you heard me correctly. I did mention the name Charlie Kaufman, the great Oscar-winning screenwriter who previously gave us such masterpieces as Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind and Anna Melissa, among others. Why Charlie decided to involve himself in Orion and the Dark? Your guess is as good as mine. But don't worry. Orion in the Dark is not as weird and bizarre and head-scratching as most of Charlie's other works. That said, to my point earlier about the few things that do annoy me about this film, and I'll try my best to not spill major spoilers here, but I think the lack of antagonists contributes to this film's inability to provide substantive urgency. At one point, it looked as if Light could be the bad guy, but turns out, He's just this chill surfer dude type who's just doing his job, and he's even barely in the film. I also think that the conflict and the turning point are not sufficiently impactful, and so they had to settle for an unexplained black hole that came out of nowhere just to create a dire situation. I understand that the point is, without darkness, life loses its equilibrium. Life loses its balance. In addition to Orion developing a bond or a friendship with Dark over the course of the story, but it just seems that some of the emotional beats are being dictated upon us. Here, feel this. Here, feel that. As opposed to something that arises organically. But again, I don't want to be too harsh. If the movie accomplishes what it sets out to do, which is to help children audiences to not be afraid of the dark anymore, then isn't that an honorable objective? And credit where credit is due. What the story lacks in its structure, it makes up for in this awesome little imaginative father-daughter twist where they could interject or make their own spin along the way, which I think is absolutely clever, on top of them having astronomy-based names that make them sound so unique and peculiar. The animation quality is also just fine. It's not gonna blow anybody's minds. It does, however, crack me up that one of Dark's friends, or one of the night elements, 
The design looks like it copies a puppet character from Sesame Street. And I don't think I'm the only one who sees that comparison. I also like the fact that Paul Walter Hauser is the one who voices Dark. Paul is a fantastic actor who's been rising over the past few years. He's been receiving accolades left and right. Paul's cadence or his inflection of his voice as Dark kind of sounds like if you put Seth Rogen in a drying machine. <laughs> but all joking aside, there is a sense of lovable bear personality about it that's warm and approachable and wise and fun. So yeah, overall I give Orion and the Dark the rating of 3.5 out of 5. Whatever few criticisms that I shared with you here does not change the fact that this is a harmless, delightful little family film that just wants to do some positive. And for that, I commend it. So that's it. That's my review of Orion and the Dark. Smash that like button. Hit that notification bell. Share this video with everyone you know. Share your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Let's rock this. Orion and the Dark. Only on Netflix. February 2nd.